Daniel Li Ying, who's uh, with Astronomy in Action. He's Ryan's partner, and they work together on these incredible experiments. I yes. was looking at the big crowds over at your mobile oh. inflatable planetarium. You must have had a great weekend oh, here. We've had a wonderful weekend. There's been so many people coming out, and we've been sharing the experience about what they might experience uh, later this afternoon. Well, you're going to help us understand all of that, too. One of the most important things, maybe the most important thing to remember today is to watch whatever you're going to watch safely. Yes. So why don't you take us through some really important things to keep in mind, Daniel? Okay, so first of all, as we all know, we should never look at the sun. Right. So what you want to make sure, uh, some people think you can use sunglasses. Obviously, you're not going to use sunglasses as well. But probably if you haven't gotten by okay. now, uh, as you can see, we've got solar eclipse yes, viewers right here. Version. You look got your own one. version. That's sister, gorgeous. That I like one? that. Yes. My sister said those Oh, me. fantastic. Yes. So obviously, uh, and you want to make sure that when you're putting them on, you're not looking up and putting them on, right? A lot of people are going to do that because they're going to try to find the sun because it is going to get a lot more dim. So you want to make sure that you actually, you know, look down, put them put on. on, and then look up at the sun, okay. right? Make sure you can see it. And then when you're done, look down and take them so off. You're taking them off. Yeah. At moment of totality, which is the only time you can take them off. Absolutely. Look down before you take them off. Yes. Okay. And usually uh, a good way to indicate for that is when you have the glasses on, right? When the sun's completely blocked and you can't see you through the glasses, you'll probably hear the sounds and everyone using their apps as well. But uh, that's usually a good idea. Okay. Yeah. So what else? There are other ways that you can watch safely because these were in such sort of the supply. Oh. We were trying to come up with other things that you can use Absolutely. to watch indirectly what's happening safely. Yes. So what else? You brought some other things here so I did to bring show a few us. Other things. So okay. one is uh, one that you actually made with oh, Ryan on Ryan. Friday, yes. which is a nice pinhole camera. Okay. Right. So obviously, uh, if you have still time to do it, uh, once again, it's just a box. And what you're going to do is just cut out a hole on the side or even over here, and that's going to be your viewer to look into the box. Okay. Uh, you want to have a nice white background, and you're going to cut another hole here and put a piece of foil in front. And you're just using a pencil or a toothpick and poking a hole through, and you're just going to aim this at the sun. Obviously, you're not going to look at the sun. You're going to hold it behind you like this and aim it so that it's facing the sun, and the sun will pass through the hole and, uh, and it'll illuminate it an image light. on the white. If you don't right. have the box, or I mean, it would be pretty easy to make, but this is, you know, let's go to the pantry and Absolutely. see what we're into the, <laughs> into the yes, kitchen and you can definitely. use this. How do you use these things? So it's very simple. Once again, it's a similar to creating that pinhole effect okay. with the camera. So, you know, if you have a ladle, once again, you're looking away from the sun, you're kind of looking towards the shadows on the ground and just make sure the holes of the ladle are pointing to, uh, towards the sun and the or sunlight the passing. The colander is going to give you multiple viewing of the solar eclipse as well. <laughs> Even um, a pinhole effect with uh, trees as well, like as the uh, light passes through the leaves, it's going to create a carpet of eclipses on the ground, which will be fantastic to view as okay. well. Uh, or interlace your fingers if you have yourself available. Again, with that again, put it in the direction of the sun. Now you have a couple, just in our last yes, few seconds. One last few seconds. Well. So this is actually pretty cool. This is personalizing the experience. So what you can do is just get a strip of paper and uh, just get you know you can write your name on it uh -huh. if you want and just get a hole punch and hole punch your name and then that way you can actually uh, have your name get eclipsed during the eclipse right and you can do this all across Canada which is great so uh, how would you do that then so once, once again, again you're just once again you're just writing out your name oh, okay. and you would put that in the box and you and you, know, and and you, you just hold it just hold like how you do a whole colander so he, as did you can you see one for me yes I did oh there you go thank you Daniel so oh, if I you. personalized eclipse I will yeah. use that yeah. later Absolutely. that is fantastic come on back I have more questions I have more questions about what it's going to be like in totality Absolutely. partial versus total I want to look at that constellation shirt again so come on <laughs> back you need a more you need a warmer coat though it's oh, a bit brisk okay. here isn't it oh my, my goodness. goodness thank you Daniel